Hey everyone, and we're back. My name is Miss Scarlet Tinger, and I am playing some Xenosaga Episode 3. Now, the Mobius Hotel is here somewhere. This game does have a lot. They start selling weapons of towns. What is it? Do you want some of my items? Sure. What are you, stupid? I don't have anything like that. Go buy them at the ca- Wow. Rude. <laughs> Welcome! Yay, this place actually has a shop. An actual shop. Um, I'll take one of those. Yes. Do I have any other equipment? There we go. Uh, I'll buy one of those. Uh, buy one of those. Uh, I don't know what this is, but I'll buy it. <laughs> I don't know what this is, but I'll buy it. <laughs> cool. Buy items! Don't need it! Okay. Uh, can't remember how to- There we go. One issue is that there is some slowdown on the emulator in the menu for some reason. I don't know why, but... Pearlware. Oh, that's what she's- Oh, right! I have access to the Vector uniform! This makes her look like she's wearing the Vector outfit in, in um... 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 Fight! Wow, I forgot English for a second. I know English. No, I don't. I don't know English. I don't know anything. <laughs> I am not bright. Oh, right, I can look at the ES too. But don't care. Let's go. Do, 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 do. You got anything important to say? It has a hotel! Oh yeah, I just saw some ve guy from Vector head to the hotel. Cool. I gotta go find Alan, who still loves Xion, even though she shouldn't, or he shouldn't. GF is a she Nope, wrong way. It's a little hard to read some of these signs because they're so glowy. Nice flat texture there, game. <laughs> I love making fun of old games. They're so charming, but at the same time, so easy to make fun of. I'm gonna blow all these up. I'm gonna blow them all up. <laughs> I like blowing things up. Oh hey, there's actual things in it. Okay. Let's go blow some shit up. I like blowing things up. I... Is there anything here? Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Those cars look like ass in HD. <laughs> they just look like little schmears. But also, this looks really, really good for a PS2 game. Again, emulated, so it's in higher resolution. But those are actual 3D models all the way out there until it turns into an obvious flat texture. I'll give this game some props. Graphically, it's freaking gorgeous. Even for as old a game as it is. How's this? I'm in the fountain. I don't know why I'm in the fountain, but I'm in the fountain. Pull it up. Oh hey, there's money in the fountain. <laughs> the money is mine now. Okay, was there any reason to do any of that? Did I pass where I was supposed to go? Man, I'm fucking lost. <laughs> fucking super lost. Uh, this way? Where am I going? I've gotten myself lost already. Oh well, I can blow more things up then. Ooh, money! Quick, quick. Quick! I like blowing things up. <laughs> oh, wrong way! Shit! Again, for somebody who quit her job, Shion sure has a lot of money. Oh, there's the hotel. Duh. Just wondering what to do about all these packages scattered all over the place. Thank you. Why would you be thankful that I blew up people's packages? Rude. I got a segment file. Yay. A segment file has been added. Oh. I forgot to click on the segment file in the beginning area. Oops. No. Okay, bye, dude. I played this game bef 
I've played this game, but I've also played the previous games. I know what a segment file is. Hey, Alan. How you doing, dude? I'm gonna go the wrong way up. <laughs> Ch Chief, it's good to see you again. Alan, you're looking well. Actually, I could use some sleep. But I got more energy than others. There you go. You're looking well too, Chief. Hey, could you stop using Chief? I'm no longer part of Vector. You can call me Shion. What? <laughs> oh, um... She... 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 He's physically incapable of saying her name. <laughs> Chief. <laughs> Even the people in the back are like, what the fuck? Time. <laughs> really? Seems easy enough to me. Yeah, well, it's because you're an asshole, Shion. <laughs> well, whatever. I've already got you a room on the upper floor, so go ahead and settle in. When you're done, come back down. I'll show you around town. Will you, though? No. Because reasons. Hmm. There's a lot I want to talk about, so why don't you come up with me? <laughs> That's sus. <us. laughs> go with you? The, the room is a double. Of course, no one's expecting a suite. Ah, there's the elevator. I... No, I mean... Wait, Chief! <laughs> he thought she was hitting on him. <laughs> or... Yeah. Oh, Alan, you lovable goofball. Still too good for her. I'm not tired. <laughs> Ignore the fact that I just yawned. So, how are things? Is everyone doing well? Yeah, that is yes, definitely a fine. suite. That hotel room is the size of a suite. <laughs> but they don't seem to be very happy with the sudden decision to cancel the project. I'm not happy about it either. They didn't give any advance notice? Nope. Nothing of the sort. Second Division had already begun the next phase along with First Division. So they wound up putting a lot of work to waste. Miyuki said they're all in a really bad mood. And Miyuki didn't tell Shion? <laughs> well, the government is compensating our financial losses. But they can't compensate us for the time we spent on this project. That is that really how Second Division feels and not how Miyuki feels? That girl was so excited about Cosmos' weapons development. You're always so mean to Miyuki, Shion. It's one of the reasons why I dislike her as a character half the time. Hmm? Who is it? And it's Miyuki. <laughs> Hi, Alan. Is she on there yet? Oh, there you are. Oh. Is that all you have to say to your former co-worker after not seeing her for six months? Six months? We just met last... Six months ago, remember? <laughs> Reasons why Miyuki is the worst spy ever. <laughs> oh, um, yeah, right. Has it really been that long? Huh? Alan does not catch on. <laughs> uh, um, nothing. I can't believe Miyuki lost track of time. Yeah, sure. I guess time just flew by. Anyway, I bet you're happy, Alan, since you're all alone in a hotel room with Xion. <laughs> Are you planning to enjoy some quality time with her after this? No. No, he is not. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I hit the nail on the head, huh? <laughs> what are you talking about? I, I'm not that kind of guy. And Shion still doesn't catch on to the fact that he has a crush on her. <laughs> Jeez. Ooh, a little nervous stutter. Men are such animals. <sighs> You too. Miyuki, did you have some- Shion just does not care. Oh yeah, I'm gonna need the necessary weapon details by tonight. Weapons? For what? For Cosmos, of course. Didn't Togashi tell you? There's gonna be a public demonstration to show off that new weapon tomorrow. Yep. And Cosmos is going to be a part of it. Rumor is, she's going up against it. What? 
This is the first I've heard about it. Besides, I've already taken today off, and... Uh... What are you talking about? Please send the details by this evening. It takes time to put these things together, you know. <laughs> Miyuki is such a cock block. <laughs> anyway, that's how it goes, so good luck, Chief Ridgely. Wait a minute! Sounds like you're a pretty busy man, Chief Ridgely. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm sorry. It looks like I have to get back to work. I'd actually planned to show you a good time around town after this, but... Don't worry about it. Hey, do you think I can sit in on the public demonstration tomorrow? I would love to see Cosmos and everyone else, too. Think that'll be all right? Oh, well, video sure. game logic I'll says it is, even though... To let you observe as a special advisor. Logically, it shouldn't. <gasps> Officially, you left the company on a positive note, so I doubt there'll be any problems. You sure about that, Alan? <laughs> I'll come by and get you tomorrow. Sounds good. Thanks. Poor guy. Poor Alan. Is there a, maybe I'll lie down for a bit. Oh. Okay. It's night time! Hmm. I think I overslept. Cool. More cutscenes! <laughs> a billion cutscenes. Hmm? There's a call from someone. I wonder who it is. It's probably about the Elsa going missing. Actually, I can't remember, so if it is about that, there was an accident. Huh? Chaos. It is! <laughs> How have you been? <laughs> I swear, I haven't played this game in years. I was- I did not think it was gonna be that. I'm fine. You're looking well. What's with the sudden- Wait, that communication code. Are you on this planet? Yep. Yeah, we just arrived. They made us wait quite a while during entry. It was hard trying to calm down Junior. And yet Xi'an got in just fine. <laughs> Junior's with you? Then- Yeah, we're all here. We came on the Durandal. The Durandal? That's unusual for you. What happened to the Elsa? About that. <laughs> um... Chaos? Actually, that's what I need to talk to you about. Hmm? Do you have some free time right now? Huh? Sure. But is something wrong? Yes. Something oh, is very wrong. <laughs> Where do you want to meet? How about the cafe near the Mobius Hotel? Okay. See you soon, then. This is almost a visual novel at this point. <laughs> it is no longer a proper video game, it's a visual novel. <laughs> Got mail, it's from Darktooth. Hello, Xion. I've compiled some information and sent it to your database. Use it like a dictionary if you don't if you don't know some terms or forgot them. Oh, and sometimes terms in the database will be updated with new information, so I suggest you go through, and through them from time to time. I hope you'll use my gift wisely. I appreciate it, Darktooth. Yeah, it's just saying, if you guys want to know what actually happened between Xenosaga 2 and 3 and get a better explanation for what the fuck the entire intro of this game is, check the database! It's like an entire game's worth of knowledge got crammed into it. A game that never was made. I seem salt- I know I've seen salty these last couple episodes. Shut up, phone. But, um... I'm really not. Like I said, this is my favorite of the Xenosaga games. It is a crying shame they never made a full- the full six games they wanted to. In my opinion. But I guess it is kind of understandable because Xenosaga 2 was- it had its moments. It was- had some very good moments. It was also a pile of hot garbage sometimes. <laughs> is this the cafe? No, it's a showroom. Where's the cafe? There's the cafe. I can't read that. Park area? Uh. So I can't read it. Is it here? No. Is it this one? <laughs> step, 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 step. Okay, also waiting for me at the cafe stream. Oh, wait! That was south. Right? Unless it is this. I'm gonna go down here. I don't see. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going, and this game doesn't have a mini-map. Oh well. At least not right now. I can't remember if it does later or not. Arms and protection. Cafe stream, there it is. Let's go see chaos. My man. Commodore Jose Xavier, commander of the Andres fleet, assigned to the Galaxy Federation Gedalia region, declared that his fleet had engaged with the Ormus fleet in the region. 
Yep, they're at war. Yeah, everybody's calm. Information. The Ormus fleet occupying planet Mictum commenced military action towards the Federation fleet in the region. The Andras fleet was sent to investigate an asteroid that was recently discovered in the Gedalia region. Ren Le Chateau. For days now, the Andras fleet has been locked in a stalemate with the Ormus fleet, which claims ownership of the asteroid. At present, it is unclear why Ormus has dispatched a fleet to Gedalia space, which is under Federation control. Because they want the asteroid, obviously. <laughs> a spokesman for Ormus has stated that they have no desire for combat. It is believed that the Ormus fleet commenced military action after several of its requests to the Andres fleet to leave the region were ignored. Uh. Oh, I guess we don't get any, uh, voices for this. <laughs> we set out to investigate a floating object at the request of the subcommittee. But the UMN in that region of space suddenly shifted. We think they probably fell into an imaginary pocket. So what happened, everyone? Are they okay? External communication has been cut off. We don't know what's going on inside. I see. Well then. Unfortunately, I can't be of much help. You probably already know this, but I quit my job at Vector. Yeah, I heard from Jin. <laughs> I'll try contacting Alan, but it sounds like Cosmos may be mixed up in something else. Ah, don't worry about it too much. Junior said it wouldn't hurt to ask. Anyway, I just wanted to let you know in on what's going on. Sorry, I can't be of more help. Due to the acceleration of the Gnosis phenomenon, the Galaxy Federation government has issued an evacuation order to the planetary governments in the outlying areas of Gnosis activities. The Federation has issued a statement that the Gnosis phenomenon that, last occur that occurred last month in Okadeo's space has resulted in the disappearance of over 100 planetary governments in that region. That is a lot of people! <laughs> The Galaxy Federation government has established an emergency task force and deployed eggs to the region in question. But it is believed that it has not resulted in the reduction of the phenomenon. There are more incidents like this happening these days. I feel like this is supposed to have voice acting. I wonder if it's a game glitch or if it's an emulator glitch. <laughs> Jin's still on it, isn't he? Yes, he's on the Durandal right now, hopping up with the Elthus's rescue. I see. Are you worried? Well, maybe a little, but it's not like he'd listen to me. Shion, are you alright? You look pale. Oh, I'm fine. I've just been a little tired lately. And passes out! <laughs> Shion! Okay. Uh. Game? game so uh you guys saw nothing it was a glitch <laughs> it was a glitch yeah there was supposed to be cutscenes or there was supposed to be voice acting everything there it's working now though <laughs> investigating object at the request of the subcommittee but the umn in that region of space suddenly shifted we think they probably I don't know what the fuck caused that because it worked pocket. immediately <laughs> Uh, it might actually not even be an emulator glitch, it might be a regular game glitch, because I distinctly remember that maybe happening to me once before when I wasn't playing this on emulator. With this particular so cutscene. So what happened to everyone? Are they okay? External communication's been cut off. We don't know what's going on inside. Uh oh. I see. Our voice acting's better than mine anyway. <laughs> I can't be of much help. You probably already know this, but... I quit my job at Vector. Yeah, I heard from Jin. I'll try contacting Alan, but it sounds like Cosmos may be mixed up in something else. Uh, don't worry about it too much. Junior said it wouldn't hurt to ask. Anyway, I just wanted to let you in on what's going on. Oh, trust me. Obviously, Xion's gonna be helping you guys anyway. Soon. Sorry, I can't be of more help. After we have a little bit of a thing happen. <laughs> Due to the acceleration of the Gnosis phenomenon, the Galaxy Federation government has issued an evacuation order to planetary government. The Federation yeah, okay. government. I read this to you guys. It's that the fine. Gnosis phenomenon that occurred last has resulted in the disappearance of over blah, the blah, Galaxy blah. Federation government and deployed eggs to the. But eggs. it is believed that it has not. Re <laughs> I read there that to you guys. It's fine. Like this happening these days. 
Jin's still on it, isn't he? Yes, he's on the Durandal right now, helping out with the Elsa's rescue. I see. Are you worried? Well, maybe a little. But it's not like he'd listen to me. It's not like you'd listen to him either. <laughs> Xion, are you alright? You look pale. Oh, I'm fine. I've just been a little tired lately. Passes the fuck out. <laughs> Xion. Okay, are you gonna load now properly? Game. There we go. <laughs> I do sort of remember that happening to me on the PlayStation 2, so I think that might actually have been a regular game glitch and not an emulator glitch. Shion. What? These are Udu's waves. Udu. Shion? That's a joke to the very first Xenosaga game, by the way, that I keep making in every single one of the Xenosaga videos, because it's funny to me. What? Is it calling me? Where are you? Who's calling me? Xion. A word to define an individual. Are you Xion? Creeper. Right. I'm Xion. Who are you? Well, if you look very closely, there's an, out an outline of a very obvious shape that you've seen before. Or, well... That we've seen before. I don't think Xion's actually seen him. Yeah, that's Abel. <laughs> but I don't think his name's actually been... Because you see him in the very end of Xenosaga 1. I think he appeared in Xenosaga 2. I think. Uh, where am I? But he doesn't actually become uh, important until this hotel? game. <laughs> don't worry about it. It's fine. Oh, that's right. I met up with Chaos... And then I started feeling sick. Chaos must have carried me here. I'll have to apologize later. Let me know in the comments. Is that a shitty thing to do or not a shitty thing to do? Because, yeah, Chaos carried her back to the hotel. But one? How did he know what room she was in? Two? Why didn't he stay to make sure she was okay? <laughs> she didn't pass the fuck out in front of him. <laughs> Also, those dots have no blankets. Or pillows. Seems uncomfortable. Oh, it's you, Alan. Chief, what happened? I've been calling you for a while. Calling me? Did something happen? That's what I want to know. Okay. Please tell me you're okay. What? Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, the demonstration. Don't tell me you forgot. <laughs> you're the one who said you wanted to go. It's going to start without you. I'm so sorry. I'll be right there. Where are you now? I'm down in the hotel lobby. Okay, I'll be right there. This can only end well. This can only end well. <laughs> also, I accidentally saved over my file again. Because I'm bad at this. Very bad at this. Hopefully we don't get another glitch like that because that was annoying. Thankfully, it only took me about two minutes to get back to there. Because I kind of just skipped all the cutscenes. <laughs> Wonderful. This game is wonderfully short in the beginning if you skip the cutscenes. Seeing as it's 90% cutscenes in the beginning. Sup, bruh? How you doing? I'm sorry, Alan. I'll make it up to you later. Ah, don't worry about it. Shall we go? Doesn't brush your teeth, doesn't take a shower, just goes. <laughs> I'm just gonna slowly walk. What's wrong? You're awfully quiet. Is something on your mind? Oh, uh, yeah. Something's been bothering me. Huh? Sounds like something's up. You know Dmitry Yuriev, right? The former parliament member? He's Junior's father, right? What about him? And he's totally sharing a body with Guinan right now. Well, the contact subcommittee is no longer in charge of the Zohar project. Uh oh. It's been transferred to the military and is now headed by Dmitry Yuriev. The development of the next generation key unit in this mock battle is also under his command. The military took over from the subcommittee? That sounds pretty fishy. 
pretty sus. Yes. Super I've heard sus. A lot of ominous things about this next gen unit. I've also heard the Cosmos project was canceled due to pressure from the government. I have a feeling something bad is going on up there. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Yuriev was a very charismatic member of the Federation Parliament, right? I heard he also had the ears of the military. So that's where the pressure came from. Still, what I did had some weight on what happened with Cosmos. You don't know that, Shion. Don't you think you're jumping to conclusions? I mean, Alan's right, but... I'd like to think that, but... You sound worried. You'll understand when you see it, Chief. Dun dun dun! Well, isn't that suspicious? I'm sure it's fine. There can't possibly be anything super suspicious about these uh, new weapons that they're talking about. Nope. Nothing's wrong with them. Totally, totally on the up and up. Nothing could uh, possibly go horrifically wrong very soon. Uh, this is the East Bay. It's white, unusual building, easy to spot. Okay. Whee! This is a really interesting way to do a world map. I kind of like it. Because it's sort of like she's Godzilla tramp, like, just destroying buildings and murder lading the countryside as she runs around the city. Okay. It's the obvious weirdly shaped ship. Like, what kind of architecture is that? It seems highly unnecessary and a waste of space. <laughs> Just got some robots chilling. This is the core of the Zohar project, humanity's final defense against the Gnosis. That's some security. I'll need to thank the director. It's a major project for the military industrial complex. It's on a whole new scale now. Well, they are trying to save the universe, so. <laughs> oh, someone's calling me. Can't wait to see Cosmos. Oh, don't worry. We're she's already my, inside she's the She's the best character in this franchise. Her and Chaos are the best. And Momo. Is and Junior. With you? I do yeah, like Ziggy. Right he's, he's just sort of bleh. Man, you go shoving work onto me, and now you're standing there grinning. Heh. <laughs> I'm not grinning. It's because you're in love with her. I'm kidding. Don't take it so seriously. Anyway, just leave things over here to me. You two enjoy the show. Now, don't try to pull anything just because you're alone with her. <laughs> Shut up! What are you talking about? Don't worry about it. This is fine. Nothing bad could possibly happen. <laughs> now you're laughing, too! I mean, you are kind of laughable, Alan. <laughs> Sorry. It's just none of you have changed at all. Nope. Now you're making fun of me, too. I'm not, I'm not. Come on, let's go, Chief Ridgely. She is absolutely making fun of you, Alan. You should um, forget you ever knew her and go find yourself a nice girl. The public demonstration is about to begin. All dun, related dun, sections dun, please dun, transfer dun, security dun, level dun, dun. To K. This is gonna end well. For the transporter, yes. If the ominous music in the background wasn't any indication, this is gonna go amazingly well. It's gonna go so well. It is gonna be an amazing cutscene, though. What's up? I assume I go this way because it's the only way the game will let me go. game rendered cutscene you think they just make all of them like this because they're so much better than the fmvs when you emulate them on a computer that's about 15 years older than that's the game that's the exercise <laughs> area it's larger than i expected it's almost like an army bombing range yes they're promoting it as an activation test along with a mock battle it's very close to real combat but togashi thinks it's a demonstration by the salvatore faction I if funding gets approved, the military intends to start mass production of the new unit immediately. 
That's not gonna work. <laughs> There's a really good reason why that would never work. <laughs> but that will be spoilers. Alright, time to see my babe! I think. It's either this cutscene or the next one. Anytime now, game. <laughs> you just get to watch this pillar slowly rise, and that's it. <laughs> Is it? Oh, okay, it's not this cutscene. It's the next FMV scene. Not FMV scene, because this is in-game render, but whatever. Because <laughs> that's not Cosmos. <laughs> it just, uh, looks almost exactly like Cosmos. That's Cosmos? Except with the color different. Are you surprised? She looks just like Cosmos. Development code TPXX, also known as Telos. The ultimate finished unit. Which we saw startling advancement in science as in the say. original game. That's how you know this entire yes. thing was already planned out. Because you we could see her development so, stuff in the first game. This is the source of your worries? Yeah. Well, that's half of it. She's one half of the new anti-gnosis weapon system that was brought in to replace Cosmos as the core of the Zohar project. Half? Wait a minute. I don't understand. Just just keep you watching, Shion, it's fine. One? Yes. This one's fine. The problem lies with the other one. Just, just turn your well, face forward. Well, soon watch. you'll understand. Yep. But don't be surprised if it shocks you when you see it. <laughs> Time for some combat. Except not actual combat. We just get to watch the combat. <laughs> it's a very good cutscene, though. Again, this game has aged remarkably well. Yeah, they had actual gnosis from somewhere. Those are gnosis, and there's so many of them. But why are they here? The military requisitioned them from Vector for this demonstration. Although, Chief, I believe that you would know more about that than me. Mm. Gnosis, gnosis seized by Vector. <laughs> Immediately start some spy shit. <laughs> Get on you, Shion. I would have loved this game so much more if they just <laughs> smoke clears and she's just a pile of rubble. It's like, oh, Tess is over. I guess she wasn't as good as we thought she was. <laughs> Except nope. <laughs> yeah, Telos has some attitude. Telos is much, much more human-like than Cosmos, at least in, until the end-ish of this game. I mean, what? Yeah, I would just watch these cutscenes all the time when I was a kid. Because I thought it looked so cool. Again, this, it wouldn't look nearly as good if I wasn't playing this on an emulator in, uh, I think I have it set in 4K graphics right now? I don't think that's how biological things explode, generally. Amazing. Her speed is incredible. According to the specs, both her reaction time and Hilbert's strength are three times Cosmos' combat frame. Now nah, we can fix that. We'll just get her some upgrades. The Galaxy Federation's trump card. This is awful. I don't like Telus. Telus is an asshole. <laughs> no one knows. Not even the staff were informed of where she actually comes from. That's suspicious. If we could take apart the OS. 
We might be able to guess based on how the code's written. But the environment's proprietary, and we can't get anywhere close to it. Hey look, it's the guy who's the head of Telos' uh, development. That over there is Roth Mantell, the man in charge of the T-Weapon development. He's suspicious. Keep keep a look at his face. His face is uh familiar. <laughs> Yep, even Shion's like, I recognize him from somewhere. Where do I know him from? Did you find anything? I'm sorry, sir. Nothing besides the resume that's been provided. We've investigated his supporters as well, but it's completely clean. Is it though? Is he completely clean? <sighs> nah, you <laughs> never seen him before, and I know the faces of everyone in my trade. Hmm. I can feel their waves from him. There. Phrasing? You mean the immigrant fleet? You can tell. Who do you think I am? A magic wizard man who possessed the body of his son. <laughs> my apologies. All members of the Immigrant Fleet have at least some affinity to the waves from Zohar. It's no surprise you can feel that. What will you do then? We stick to the plan. If he is one of them, we'll merely use that to our advantage. And if he dun, has dun, no dun. use to us, I'll dispose of him myself. Yeah, you can try. <laughs> Perhaps during the Nicton invasion that will begin soon. <laughs> See, I, I know way too much about this game. I I, I take the piss out of it all the time, but god do I love it. It's so ridiculous. Okay, now it's time for the best cutscene. Well, not the best cutscene. Not by a long shot, but Cosmos! It's my babe! It's my babe. Cosmos! I've gone way over time. Crap. Can't end the video though. I actually have to get to a save point this time. <sighs> doo, doo, doo. I guess Cosmos tattooed on her forehead. <laughs> well then, this can only end well. That is Omega. Yep. But how? The thing we fought in the first game. I told you you'd understand when you saw it. They're calling it Omega, Res Novae. And none of us at Vector knows exactly where they got the designs for it. That's a species. No, oh, it's close, Mama Babe. And. Stay calm, just stay calm. It just looks tough. There's nothing to it. You sure about that, Togashi? <laughs> Again, right, another Cosmos, entire episode with just cutscenes. <laughs> Show no mercy and send it home packing. Acknowledged. I will respond with assault mode, referencing past combat data. This is my favorite Cosmos voice. I can't remember if it's the same one as number one. I don't think it's the same voice actress as two. <laughs> Estimating 40 seconds to enemy contact. Maximum output. This, this is going to end poorly. This is going to end very poorly. <laughs> the pilot's condition looks good. Yes, nerve impulse values are not. Everything looks fine. Can you hear me? You may hear some noises and see some light, but there's nothing to worry about. Just concentrate on the web patterns in front of you. You'll feel much better. That's suspicious. <laughs> Dr. Mizrahi. Does he understand us? I don't know. Yeah, the the pilot of this gigantic space weapon is a freaking physically ten year old boy who can't speak and is kind I think of autistic. It's more effective to say something than nothing at all. Is yeah. that like the prenatal education that was popular during the Lost Jerusalem era? Even if he can't understand the meaning, the nuance and the intent of the speaker might get across. Okay. It's just to ease the mind. Our minds. 
our minds that we're putting a child soldier into a giant space mech. Sort of. It's complicated. Get him, Cosmo! Get him! <laughs> Except you can't do shit to it! <laughs> Again, Cosmos is awesome, but that thing's gigantic. Whee! She looks like an ant. <laughs> and she got punched. Uh oh. Eh, yeah, she's fine. a minute to get off that wall, though. Wow, that thing has terrible aim. Belly beam! <laughs> Best attack. Sup? This is kind of an unfair matchup. She's tiny, it's huge. Are you just gonna stand there? I don't think that's how physics works, game. What's wrong? Uh oh. I don't know. The brainwave values are unstable. The pilot's the going nuts. State is abnormal. The pilot's going nuts, though. Smack on the loose. Uh. Bonk. <laughs> One thing I love about Cosmos, you can do anything to her and just placid face. <laughs> Doesn't care. Going, this is going perfectly fine. Hurry! If it keeps up, we'll lose control. It's too powerful. How's the pilot? His brainwaves have stabilized. Recover Omega and force eject the cockpit. Get him out of there now. Well then, <laughs> this is going well. It's a pleasure to see you, Chief Ridgely. Fuck you, Ross. It's a shame about Cosmos. Again, look, keep a look at his face and just keep it in mind. Keep the face in mind. Not the hair or the glasses. Keep the face in mind. It's pretty obvious who this guy actually is. If you think about it. Please, don't worry yourself. Who's your companion? Don't you dare hit on her. Oh, she's one of Cosmos's designers. She's too Xion... good for you! Ah, you must be Shion Uzuki. It's an honor to meet you. You're an asshole. Shion is what too is good it? for you. Is there something on my face? What? Special Advisor Roth Mantel, please report to the Telos maintenance room. Oh, excuse me. You seem quite busy. We're still in the middle of development, so there's much I have to see to. I hope we can speak more leisurely at some later time. Good day. <laughs> What's 
What's with his attitude? Anyway... He's an asshole, me. that's what. Yes. I have a save point, please? Pretty, please? Ooh, a thing! <laughs> well, I would check what's in the box, but get out of the fucking way. Oh, but if the child sees, I'm not getting in trouble. Maybe I'll sneak in here when no one's around. Ah, uh, good to know. Because obviously we're going to be sneaking in here when no one's around. The exercise area ba -ba, ba -ba, ba -ba, ba -ba, ba -ba. God damn it. I wanted to get to a save point. <laughs> Hi, Yuli. Yeah. Oh, Yuli. It's good to see you again. Uh-huh. She's not an asshole to her daughter anymore. <laughs> I don't think we've seen each other since the Gnosis terrorism. You look well. That thing that we never saw in a video game because it happened between the video games. <laughs> I didn't realize you were here too. Yes, the subcommittee is involved in the project as well. Of course, all I'm actually doing is measuring values and uh, babysitting. Kay. I heard from your brother what happened. You've had a tough time. You've seen Jin? Yes, he's been doing jobs for me frequently. You haven't seen him lately? Nope. I heard the Durandal is in port. Jin should be with them. It's because Xi'an is just a jerk to everybody, that's why. Oh, uh, it's just... Since that incident, we've been having a hard time talking with each other. I get it. I'm sure he's worried about you. You should at least say hello. I'll try. She's the worst, worst little sister ever. She has just bad at everything. Hi, Abel. <laughs> How you doing? Yeah, that's the pilot they stuck in that giant mech that just went haywire. Hmm. And was fucking with his brainwaves. What is it, Abel? Is this what you want? Here you go. <laughs> I'm gonna ride on the floor. A child? <laughs> Right. His name is Abel. My this is just going to be an hour-long episode at this point. Smooth communication with him. I understand. But why? With a child so young? Because this young man is an invaluable member of the Zohar Project. He's involved with the Zohar Project? Walks off! <laughs> Albel. Albel. Wrong game. Abel doesn't uh, care. It's Nephilim! <gasps> Kid's a really good artist. <laughs> Just in, draws picture really quick, out. <laughs> oh, Abel. You this creepy mofo. How does he know what she looks like? Also, All how is that child so good? Are now over. Supervisors for each weapon are requested in the conference room. Well, it looks like Telos' data feedback is done. Cool. Now I have to go entertain government officials. Gross. <laughs> Honestly, I can't believe I'm spending time on something like that. <laughs> oh, Xion, why don't you go see your friends? What? But that's... The areas past Section 7 are Security Level B, but you shouldn't have any problem. After all, you were a major contributor to the Cosmos Project. I'll contact security. Let's go see Cosmos. Use the transporter from the terminal up ahead. You should be able to get to Vector's research wing from there. But I have to end the video. <laughs> Which, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go do that. I'm gonna go find a safe point and end the video. My name is Mr. Scarlet Danager, and I have been playing some Xenosaga Episode 3. I'll see you all in the next 